Hi everyone, it's Pastor Lisa. This week the church is commemorating the Reformation. Over 500 years ago, a priest named Martin Luther nailed 95 theses, or 95 talking points, to a church door in Wittenberg, Germany. There were 95 statements there about why he thought the church needed to think about some of the things it was doing that were not very good or helpful to the people. Well, today we remember that special event and we also celebrate that God still uses us to reform the church today. Not only is the church able to reform, but God is able to reform us as well so that if we ever make mistakes, there's always a chance for a fresh start. Well, to help remember this day and celebrate the ability to be reformed all the time, I have a special book I'm going to read to you. This is called The Life of Martin Luther, and it's a beautiful pop-up book. See, can you, can, you, can you see the cover? Yeah, so I'm going to read this, and I'll make sure I show you the pages because they're so pretty. So that's Martin Luther right there. All right. Look at that. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen. Many years ago, there lived a young man named Martin Luther. Young Martin was studying to be a lawyer. But one day, he got caught in a terrible storm. He was so afraid that he promised God he would become a monk if he escaped the storm. The storm died down, and Martin Luther kept his promise. See that storm, the wind and the rain and all the lightning? Well, let's see what happens next. Ooh, pretty. Martin Luther devoted his life to God. He began studying the Bible, where he read for himself what it said about having faith in Jesus. In his reading, Martin discovered the very good news that we are saved by faith. See that? It looks like they're in a church with a beautiful stained glass window in the back. Martin Luther didn't like what the church was teaching about faith and good works. He especially didn't like the teaching that Christians could go to heaven faster by paying money to the church. So he wrote down 95 theses explaining his disagreements then shared them for others to read. See that? Not everyone agreed with Martin Luther's ideas. They were so mad that they brought him before the Holy Roman Emperor and asked Martin to take back everything he'd said. But he refused and stood by his beliefs. See that? Martin Luther's life was in danger. On the way back to his home, the carriage he was riding in was surrounded by riders. Were they enemies? Nope. The riders were friends. They'd come to take Martin away to a castle where he would be safe. See that? The castle's back there on the hill. Martin Luther kept writing his ideas about God, grace, and faith. His writings were printed and spread far and wide. He even translated the Bible into German so that ordinary people in his country could read it and think about it for themselves. Yeah. Martin Luther inspired a reformation of the church. Many women and men followed in Martin's footsteps by introducing new ideas and big changes. Even today, Christians reform the church as we read the Bible, listen to the Holy Spirit, and follow Jesus in faith. See, look at all those people. Not only are there people from Martin Luther's time, but there's people in this picture from our time as well. Because even though the Reformation started over 500 years ago, it still goes on today because the work of God keeps going. 
God is always here to work with us, to make us into something new and give us a fresh start if anything ever goes wrong. So I hope you enjoyed our story about the life of Martin Luther and to help us remember that God is always with us and able to reform us and give us a fresh start. You're going to get a recipe to make Play-Doh from home because Play-Doh is a great way to help us remember that no matter what shape we're in, if something goes wrong, God can always make us into something new. Thanks for listening, everybody.